Hi, I'm here to demonstrate the new selfie stick with a tripod. How about this has so many different features that there are no other competitors out there. Why do you need a selfie stick? Do you take pictures of yourself? Do you take pictures of yourself and others behind you? Do you get tired of having that arm shot? This is why you need a selfie stick. So, first of all, we'll start with what it comes with. What is it? The tripod, the Bluetooth charger for USB, the Bluetooth wand, the extension pole, and the phone holder. Not to mention this nifty little case that you can carry everything in at once. Let's get started. I'd like to synchronize it with my phone. You go to your settings on your, this is an iPhone, and it works with Android as well. I'm gonna to go to my settings, go to my Bluetooth settings, make sure that it's on, okay? Bluetooth settings on. I am going to take my Bluetooth wand, remote also, and hold down this power button until it blinks. So now when I hit that Bluetooth button, it started blinking. This means that it is ready to pair. So, I'm gonna pick up my phone again, look for this device, it's scanned, and it says Winter Sun. Okay, now it says that it's connected. Now that it's connected, the green camera button on the wand lights up for iPhone. If you have an Android, this button is blue. How about that? So let's put it all together. I'm gonna exit out of my settings on my phone now that it's connected. And by the way, connecting my Bluetooth wand to my phone doesn't interfere with my Bluetooth earpiece or any other device with my phone. The first thing I wanna do is connect the extension pole, look how far that goes out, to the phone holder. And this is screw to screw. There's hardware in here, so it's not like when you twist it hard, you're gonna crack the plastic. No, this is well made. So I'm gonna twist it really tight, all right? And now I'm going to place my Bluetooth wand, open the latch to give it some give there, and put it right in the hole. I kinda, I know how I wanna hold this. The phone's gonna go here. I want the wand to kinda be facing me. So I've lined it up where it makes sense. Lock it in, and we're ready to get started. Ha, that was easy. So easy, my four-year-old can do it. Actually, he can, and he can unlock my phone too. Hmm. So, now I'm gonna take my phone and put it into the universal holder. Now, I like to push up, and make sure you're not pushing on any side buttons on your phone, otherwise it's gonna start pushing those buttons, as if you were. So I'm gonna put it in an empty space, push up, Okay, let me show you again. Empty space, push up, perfect. All right, the other good thing about this is it's secure. These Rubbermaid secure pieces kind of keep your phone universally intact. So it fits for the iPhone 5. I've even done it with an iPhone 6 Plus. Yeah, without the bulky case, of course. The bulky case may take up more space and it may not fit. But we won't talk about that because you're gonna take it out of the case to take a picture anyway so you can play with your selfie stick. The other good thing about this is there's an adjustable arm here. So for tilt purposes, I want to take a really good shot. So I need to tilt it so that it can get me, okay? And the folks behind me, or just me, and tighten that back up. Another good thing to keep in mind is that you wanna keep the arm of the selfie stick out of your shot. How do we do that? Well, if you tilt it too far up, it's in there, okay? The camera can kinda of get the selfie stick pole in the shot, take beautiful selfies where it looks like you had a photographer by tilting up just a bit. Now, I'm gonna take my shot. Let me put it to camera, face me, and now I'm ready to take a shot. All I do is press this green button. Hey. Wait, I think I like this side. Don't fall into the trap of the duck lips. The other good thing about using the selfie stick is that if you face your camera outward, you can zoom in on someone who's sitting across the table and get them in a shot. I've done it plenty of times. It's so much fun. 
And uh, the other thing is, if I set my phone to video and press the green button, it'll start recording video. Now, I know what you're wondering. What's with the tripod? Well, glad you asked. Many a times we're sitting at a desk or we have a tabletop and we have people behind us and we want to take a shot. Can you take this shot? Can you take this? Oh, I want you in the picture. Oh, I, oh, I wanted you in the picture too. Not to worry. All I have to do is remove my Bluetooth wand. Okay. Place it down for now. And place it into the tripod. Remember the latch I showed you on the Bluetooth wand? Same thing on the tripod. And now lock it in place. Place it on the tabletop and just adjust based on your subject. And if the table is way over there, as long as it's in Bluetooth range, I now have a remote. How about that? See how easy that is? I don't have to keep resyncing my wand to my phone unless I want to show someone else how groovy this works with their phone. So keep in mind, if you put someone else's phone into your Bluetooth selfie with tripod, then your Bluetooth wand is not necessarily synced to their phone, so it won't work. But you can unsync by syncing to their phone and showing them how well it works. The other great thing about this is once I break it down, I'm gonna take my phone out, undo my tripod, take away the extension pole and put it in this lovely carrying case. To order your selfie stick with tripod today, go to lforium.com. That's L, the number four, R-I-U-M.com. First, let me take a selfie.